let's face it, look in the mirror. Many of us are addicted to social media. We check our phones literally hundreds of times a day. Many times looking to see if someone commented or liked one of our posts. It almost feels a little addiction-y mm -hmm. if the truth were told. So joining us on the Coco News Live line, licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center, Lee Richardson. Good to have you back, Lee. Thanks for having me. All right. So what is it about social media that grabs our attention so hard? Well, you know what it is? It makes us feel good when we get on there and we see all these beautiful things. And when, when something makes you feel good, that brain starts kicking out dopamine. Dopamine's a neurotransmitter. That makes you feel good. So the more we see it, the more we do it. The more dopamine we get, the more we want to do it. It's a biological process going on in our brain. So it's like, a, yeah, it's like a loop. But but what's the solution for for people who are addicted to that rush that we get from Twitter, from Facebook, from TikTok? Well, I think the solution is boundaries. I mean, we all, there, social media has some goodness to it, seeing the picture of the new baby that your son had two days ago. Um, but it's also got some negativeness. And we've got to set boundaries. And as adults, my concern is more for the adolescent population because what behavior did they see modeled? Did, what do they see their parents doing all the time? Uh, is mom or dad on Facebook or Twitter, and oh, okay, well then I guess that's what I go do in my spare time. So I think we need to stop and think about what behavior we're modeling for the other people in our lives and stop and ask ourselves, what are, what are your goals from social media? You know, you know? It, it is interesting that, that sometimes on um, Instagram or whatever it is, I will see a woman who's probably in her 40s or 50s. Right. And she's in her workout gear and she's posing kind of seductively and she's got the big lips and, you know, she's, she's just kind of like, oh, just hashtag workout, you know, whatever. And you think, okay, what does her 13, 14 year old daughter think when she sees this picture? Right. That's a really good question. I think the daughter thinks, oh, I guess I should mimic that. I, I should do that. Right. That's what my mom's doing. Man, it is. I find social media to be so worrisome when it comes to kids, and I'm not even a parent. But I'm telling <laughs> you, if I had kids, there would be no Facebook, no Insta, no nothing. They would probably have a flip phone. I'd probably buy them a oh, junior there, there's, for seniors. There'd be no phones at the dinner table. This is right. this is how I would be. But I mean, I think that because of this addiction. That and it is addiction. Yes. It truly it, is addiction. It is addiction. And like you said, Lee, um, it, it's all about boundaries. And how much do you get into your kid's life, though? I mean, it, does it depend on their age? Well, I don't think it should depend on their age. I think if your kid has access to a phone, your, hat, your kid has access to the Internet, then it should be monitored. And there's there's apps that you can have on the phones that can do that for you. But I think a more effective way to do that as a parent is at the end of the day, sit down and say, hey, let's see what you did on social media today and, and set some goals. Let's see if we can get that social media viewing under an hour. And if you can do that for a week, you know, this is the reward. I'm a big believer in the reward method, not the punishment. Well, and, and, you know, what if you just decided as a family, you know, we're instead of sitting around goofing off for an hour every night, we're going to go for a walk or a bike ride around the neighborhood. Excellent idea. I mean, just something that is not inside your house. We've had enough. <laughs> Lee, thank you. Thank you so much for your time once again. Always appreciated. Thanks, Lee. Thank you. Bye bye. All right.